So today, uh, we're back working on the planter. So we did do some stuff off camera. Saturday morning, I kind of felt ambitious and I threw all the uh, reveal blades on. Been taking measurements and coming up with a plan for the fertilizer system here. Pretty kind of a uh, slow day today doing some miscellaneous things. Um, and just getting ready for tomorrow because tomorrow our precision dealer is coming down. It's going to help us lay out the wiring harnesses and the um, plumbing for the Delta Force. So I'm putting together the seed farmers now. So for the uh, seed farmers, you got uh, two tips for the fertilizer. Uh, so this is a single band, which we will not be using. This is the dual band. Reason we're doing the dual band is we want it on both sides of the seeds in the furrow. Hardest part of this planter is putting on the seed farmer. Crueling job. Yep was that hard so yeah thing i do like about them is they are they are snap in ones so if we needed to take one off if one broke or whatever or if we just wanted to take them off you just pull the lever back or push the lever back and pull them out and then they just snap right back in um i believe our other ones they yeah the, they were bolted on with everything but that i'm not totally positive on I did, I do remember taking them off, but I can't remember if they were all down or um, whatnot, so.
so we uh, got a bunch of stuff done here the last couple days. Yesterday we had precision dealer down here. Got a list of all the things we need yet. Uh, a lot of wiring harnesses, a um, couple hose kits yet for the Delta Force, some, some fittings yet. And then there was a bunch of other stuff as well. So we did get the blades finally. We got the blades completely on. Um, they're all tight. They're all, they're all in the right spots, so. So you slide the two business cards in, slide it until they don't go anymore on both, on both the bottom and the top, and then you measure the gap in between them. So you want there to be a two inch gap or roughly close to that. Um, we've been within a quarter inch difference. Nothing really under two inches. Everything was two inches, two and an eighth you know two and a quarter you know all in that area um when it was two and a quarter we actually switched that so two two inches to two and an eighth um so that's about where we're at with that they, oh, they are going to get wore through some of them are the slightest little bit of warped so they're not they're not really warped or they're warped you can tell when you run the blades together but they're not super bad blades were the same as the parallel arms it was gvgi and also with the parallel arms the reason we went with these so there's a replaceable bushing in there and then there's a piece of rubber padding also in there so it is not wearing out the actual parallel arm itself um, so once that goes bad you can just replace it and you're not uh, hurting the parallel arm itself so all right, so for the Delta Four, Dad started plumbing it. Um, he's got a lot of the rows done, but you have the control box for the Delta Force. So you're running from the control box into here. So this will supply all the units. Or for these T fittings, there will be a hose that runs up the frame back into this one here. And then we need to get T fittings for right here yet. So then there will be another hose that connects to that and runs across to get to these this wing here. So obviously you can't join these two because you will, when you fold up, you'll tear your hose. We do have to plumb the rest of this yet, but we have some hoses that we have to get and then we have some fittings that we have to get yet. So dad's gonna go get some of that tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna go through and put all the gauge wheel arms and the gauge wheels on. And then I'm also going to adjust them to where they need to be so we did also unhitch the tractor from this we had to change hydraulical L in there um, this hasn't been changed in a while for one and for two um, we are going to go with fresh hydraulic oil into running this thing it is going to be working the hydraulic oil a little bit more than usual applications because it is always running hydraulic oil and it's gonna be running a lot of it because we are running it through the Delta Force, running the fans or the vacuums, you know, your ups and downs, your fold ups, all that stuff. But another reason too is we wanna have fresh hydraulic oil in it for the Delta Force as well. This is a pretty uh, integral system and we wanna make sure that it is gone through you know with fresh hydraulic oil just to kind of get it you know going so because obviously none of that's been ran before so we want to make sure everything's fresh that goes through it we on this tractor we have the big hydraulic pump on it so we are not worried about not having enough hydraulic capacity and if we run out of horsepower we will put a chip on it so plus Anyways, this is our usual green carting tractor, and it would be nice to have a chip if we get a bigger cart, you know, for that reason, too, pulling that. And even with this one, too, it doesn't struggle, but, you know, it would be nice at sometimes going up certain hills and all that. So a lot of the stuff we've been doing has been off camera. It's kind of hard to have a camera when there's three people working around and, you know, you're kind of go, go, go with everything and you're trying to figure some stuff out. So what I'm going to do... When we're all done with this, this is all finished up. I'm going to do a detailed video on our build and, you know, all the components that went into doing it and 
explaining how we did it um, because we did <laughs> we have made mistakes on the way and you know just figuring it out this is our first planter that we built um, or first planter that I've been around that's been built they had built a planter a new planter way back but it was nothing like this so he, it was a six row inner plant Kinsey so it was you know simple stuff Phil. so we will be doing that detailed video eventually down the line here we just once this is done we're going to get through it i'm going to try to keep videoing as much as i can i'm trying to video as much as i can so i'm not trying to slack on that it just gets hard when you know you do one thing and then you figure out you did it wrong so then you got to go back and take video and then you're kind of mad at yourself because you got that wrong and, and then the camera gets thrown in the corner and you're not uh really wanting to film at that point in time because you're kind of mad you made the mistake and it's like how could I be so stupid you know that was you know that was probably the most simple thing you could have done but whatever just it's all the learning on here so far I've had a blast working on this thing it's been absolutely an awesome experience being able to do this and looking forward to getting it out in the field and all that all this is starting to come together so um, also for the fertilizer, dad's got the bracket kind of planned out and he's going to be making it here in the next couple days. And then we're going to start getting some of this stuff set up for that. But planting is getting very close. So maybe in a month, not even, we could be planting if it's good enough. We've been getting a ton of rain, which is good because we've been in a pretty significant drought. Not like a super bad one, but you know, we've been in a drought, so... It is good to see moisture now. But. So it's the next day. We are back working on this thing. So plan of attack today, we are going to do the uh, gauge wheels and gauge wheel arms. I'm gonna go through the whole thing, put all the gauge wheel arms on, and then I'm gonna go to each one with gauge wheels and adjust them to where they need to be. So basically we want it touching the blade enough where it's making it squeak and making the um, wheel squeak because it is going to wear a little bit out from here but essentially we want the, depth, the gauge wheel touching the uh, opening blade. So this one is obviously going to be too tight if we're squeaking right away. So. All right, so you're gonna wanna go out. So, let's see where we're at here. So essentially, you loosen this bolt up here so you can turn this, and we'll go a little bit more. So that's turning a little bit easier. So this is gonna be when it's in the ground essentially the other side will come up and this will go down a little bit but once it hits that then it will wear this out a little bit so we are good this 